Good morning, y'all. It is currently like 6.55 or 7 o'clock. We're gonna go catch the sunrise this morning, go get some photos with my actual camera, which I have yet to do. I'm still coming off, down off that high right now, being out in Europe for like the last three weeks, but I have missed flying. I found a little window of opportunity this morning. So we're gonna take advantage of it. Everything's loaded up and I just gotta put myself inside the truck and let's get rolling. Let's uh, catch you guys at the takeoff spot. Not the most beautiful layout, but we're quick. Sun's starting to come up. Let's get things rolling. Strap the camera on, the real camera, Insta on. Let's go have some fun and a great solitude dual morning flight. Not sure how well this camera bag's gonna work right here on my chest, but we will find out. Let's get it. Catch the sunset last night with the camera. Catch the sunrise this morning with it. First time ever taking off with a camera. Big old little five pound satchel. Should it be too incredibly hard though? I can imagine. Nah, this should be easy. Also, I haven't flown in almost a month now. These times in between flights are starting to suck. Where are you stuck and I feel you? My dumbass right there just <laughs> Do I really have a cravat? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Come on, man. <sighs> if we got plenty of field length. There we go, popped out. Not ideal for reverse. But hell, we can run it out. Oh, come on. Ah, there's no wind. You can see the rest of the experience. Find a spot to put that under your leg and not drop it. Okay, cruise control th throttle is on. Ramp up the RPM stuff so we keep climbing. Put it across my lap and tuck it into this side patch thing so it doesn't go anywhere. Get the camera out.
get the camera set up for my first time. It wasn't too difficult. We'll zip this up a little bit so I don't lose anything out of there. No, you just cruise control bottle really comes in handy. Because if I didn't have it right now, I'd be happy to climb with one hand on the throttle while still digging in my bag and doing everything else I have to be doing right now. We enjoyed that beautiful, beautiful, let me do a little lap around here. Look at this. Beautiful, sunny Florida sunrise. We're gonna go down low and rip it back to the LZ because that was just hella fun, like honestly. Probably pull out the phone real quick and check for some fuel. So you guys can also get a little insight as how I check for fuel too. Let's do that. So first step, once again, remount the camera, build the brakes real fast, grab your phone out of your pocket, typically preferably on a lanyard, but if you don't have that option, then you just rock it like I do. Either take videos or photos of a level fuel tank next to you. Okay, looks like I took a video. And I have four liters, so I have plenty of fuel. And I'm not even that far from the LZ. I'm actually cooking it back to the LZ right now, so we will just get a little low. It's so hard to wait to with all my crap on me right now. myself too sick like I normally do straighten out the insta you guys see how much a pain in the ass this is to film I just want you guys to realize that and then sometimes have your engine go out And you gotta start it over a road, kind of a road over the canal, while you're flying. All in a morning's work. <laughs> oh, love it. G-forces typically make the float ball in the car lose a little bit too much fuel if you're at an idle. That's why staying on the throttle is hella important, at least lightly, so you don't have your engine turn off like that. So now we'll cruise the golf course a little low. I think we spot over here. No golfers out yet. And we will head back into the LZ after we put the Insta away. Winds are still staying pretty steady right here. Flare it up a little bit, stall her out, and dive her in. That's zero G. Gators, if there is any. Where are you at, little alligators? I guess there's none there this morning. On to the next. 
next spot. That nice wind penetration right there. the guys you want to fall down on. Never. medical approved so I can get up in the air and start flying planes man. Training's going good, just need to get that medical in advance. Because I have ADHD they're having a hard time passing me. So what do I do next? I hire an attorney. Big guy. I run a haul ass back now that And then here's the LZ right here. We'll probably swoop in from the right side right next to my bag. Or we can land right next to my truck so I don't have to walk my gear. That'd be super nice. How about that? What an idea that is. It's kind of tight though. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Hold on. Lots of wind. So we'll ride this line down right here. Stall it a little bit. Back one more time. Beautiful. Would I have liked to have landed next to my truck? Sure. Is it the end of the world that I did it? Not at all. Always a good flight when it's a safe landing, safe takeoff. Enjoyed the heck out of that, honestly. Clover's looking to go do some flying here soon while my hair is destroyed. Um, looking forward to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, Let's see what creative ideas we can come up with. I need some good mission videos. I haven't done anything in a while. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. So have a blessed day and uh, blessed Friday. And uh, let's have a good weekend.